The PlayStation 5 limited edition 30th anniversary is an, was an absolute disaster today. It was absolutely terrible. And it's not just coming from me. There's a ton of very peed off customers. My goodness, the way it was mismanaged, it's really hard to put into sentences how frustrating it has been. Put it this way, I got a GameStop membership exclusively just to purchase this PlayStation 5 limited edition. I got myself a Walmart membership exclusively just to purchase this PlayStation 5 limited edition. And I was spent from 12.05 a.m. last night getting about an hour of sleep, if that, to 3 p.m. this afternoon tracking stocks, tracking every single website that is selling a PlayStation 5 limited edition. And I have still not been able to get one. That's how absolutely ridiculous this has been. I've been having my phone in front of me and my computer on at the same time, trying to get one console. The problem I'm seeing is that GameStop decided to do members only and also non-members. So they're giving the, the, the consoles away to non-members when there's paying members that have been waiting a long, long time, just as much as the non-members, but they're paying more. Yet they're getting their consoles taken away from them and given to non-members only. That sounds very, very fishy. Another thing with Walmart as well. Walmart was saying, hey, you get exclusive offers. You get exclusive access to a PlayStation 5 Unlimited Edition, right? You go ahead into Walmart, it maybe dropped once or twice, and guess what? Sold out. It's been a, it was an absolute disaster today. This was one of the worst drops I've ever seen. Even Best Buy. Pre-order, coming soon, out of stock. Pre-order, coming soon, out of stock. Milliseconds, can't even get it. You're smashing the buttons, everything's pre-saved. Your information, your payment, everything, you still can't get it. I can't tell you how many people I've spoken to today by comments, emails, and they were just furious. And I actually resonate with you and those people 100%. And I don't like to make a lot of negative videos. I really just want to focus on gaming and some cool stuff here and there. And maybe a little bit of whinge at certain people. But these corporations, these greedy, cor mismanaged corporations, they need to change. They need to have new management and new ownership because they are so disorganized. It is a shit show of a fucking business. It's ridiculous. There was someone that bought multiple consoles. Yeah, probably a scalper going on eBay, selling them to make triple the money. Disgusting. I even had to go to eBay to look at the lowest price, which was $760, and the guy's still not accepting the offer when it's a $500 console. That's how crazy, and that's the cheapest scalper slash borderline reseller on eBay, by the way, because I went through all the listings, 20, 50 of them. We are going through some crazy times, and this is such a cool, iconic, nostalgic console, and it's just so sad to see it get ruined by a couple of few morons that are in charge. That's my personal opinion. I don't really have anything more to say about it, other than I'm going to continue to keep looking down the stupid out-of-stock list, which you can clearly see in front of me. Not clearly, but you can kind of see in front of me. If it would focus. Sorry, the light's a little bit bright. But it does say out of stock all the way across my screen. You have to believe me. It's, it's, oh. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. And if you're a new subscribe, thanks. See ya.